In response to the Great Depression, Congress passed the National Industrial Recovery Act. Section 9C of the Act gave the President the power to prohibit the interstate transport of petroleum products that exceeded state production quotas. The Act granted the President almost unlimited discretion to allow or prohibit the transport of excess petroleum products as he saw fit. The Act also gave the President broad powers to create rules to enforce his oil transportation decisions. Pursuant to the Act, President Roosevelt issued executive orders that allocated interstate oil production quotas based on individual states' production limits. Anyone that shipped or sold more oil than allowed faced criminal penalties. The Panama Refining Company, which we'll call Panama for short, wanted to ship and sell more oil than the Roosevelt administration allowed. Panama sued Ryan, the Secretary of the Interior, in federal court to block enforcement of the quotas. Panama claimed that Section 9C of the Act unconstitutionally delegated legislative power to the executive branch. The district court granted Panama an injunction against enforcement of the administration's quotas, but the Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit reversed. Panama sought review in the United States Supreme Court. The Supreme Court accepted the case to address how broadly Congress may delegate its legislative power to another branch of government. Chief Justice Hughes wrote the majority opinion, holding that Congress may only delegate rulemaking power to another branch only if it also provides clear policy standards that direct and limit how and in what circumstances the power is to be used. The Supreme Court found that Section 9C didn't declare any clear policy standards or otherwise limit the president's rulemaking authority. Because the act granted the president unlimited power to create and enforce his own oil industry policy, Section 9C unconstitutionally delegated legislative power to the administration. The Constitution gives Congress the power to decide public policy and enact legislation. But these policy issues can be very complex, and Congress often can't write legislation detailed enough to address every possible situation. Congress has often given the executive branch the power to make supplementary regulations to help administer congressional legislation. The executive branch may also be empowered to make findings of fact to determine how it will apply congressional policy in a given situation. The majority opinion examines several examples dating back to the early 1800s. In each of these cases, Congress set the policy. The executive branch was given only the power to make rules or fact-finding determinations. The Supreme Court found that Section 9C differed from these earlier acts. Like previous congressional enactments, other sections of the act contained clear policy enactments limiting the delegation of legislative power. But Section 9C provided no guidance or limitations on the president's power to regulate oil shipment. The rest of the act didn't provide any guidance or limits on this power either. The Supreme Court noted that this was the first time that the president was granted the power to set and enforce his own policy, with no congressional standards or restrictions. Congress effectively gave the president unlimited policy and rulemaking power. This, the court held, was an unconstitutional delegation of legislative power that violated the separation of powers doctrine. The Supreme Court reversed the appellate court and remanded the case to the district court with instructions to enter permanent injunctions against the enforcement of Section 9C and the administration's petroleum allocation rules. Justice Cardozo dissented. Cardozo agreed that Congress must set clear standards when it grants rulemaking authority to the executive branch. However, he disagreed with the majority's conclusion that Section 9C delegated too much power to the president. Cardozo argued that, when read as a whole, the act articulated sufficiently clear standards and limitations. Panama Refining Company v. Ryan is a landmark case because it marked the first time in American history that legislation was struck down as an unconstitutional delegation of legislative power.